Hey, have some hey, faith in your precious metal because um, it's going to fake you out. And looking at a few of the ratios out there, of course, the gold to silver ratio, and I know the oil to gold ratio, and even the platinum to gold ratio is still kind of skewed. So, uh, uh, you know, it's typically when silver is over 60 like this, you know, it could very possibly go way down below 15, even long term. And I think a lot of these things are actually going to come about fairly soon because. The reality is the government does know the situation in the economy in the United States is pretty bad. And there's only one way they can actually get out of it, and that is to keep printing more money. But, you know, part of that game is not really to knock the middle class out of that. It's uh, They want a strong economy overall, but they don't want a strong middle class. You should understand that's really what the deal is. It's not like they really want to wreck the United States. They don't want to wreck the United States. They want to own the United States. They don't want a lot of different individuals own the United States. It's an exclusive group that owns the United States. So um, that's one important thing to consider. It's not that they want to wreck the United States per se. You know, that's really what I could say the policy of the top people, the Illuminati, the elites are doing right now. So um, uh, the one thing, you know, to keep in mind, you know, they will be putting a hammer on the middle class. But will they necessarily be trying to destroy the United States? No, not at all. So that's one thing you want to keep in mind. Um, the power of the dollar may, you know, hold up fairly well. But uh, I think still it's going to be greatly diminished. Because, you know, and look at retrospect, what prices were even like 40 years ago. You know, a lot of people invest in silver as a get-rich scheme. And where it's going to be a get-rich scheme is when we see the panic into the metals. I think that's actually going to come up about lot sooner than expected but it's going to be a couple different things that are going to do it one is budget concerns and um, like I said this a few times before budget concerns uh, that's going to drive up gold downgrading the debt but in relative to, relative to other countries the USA is still looking fairly strong like China is completely falling apart the uh, the emerging markets are starting to really fall. They, I have been falling apart. Europe's falling apart. Japan is going already embarking on super QE, and it's not really have the effect they want it to have. So, you know, maybe look like the USA for now. Looks like going to be the last man standing. But, you know, metals are something that have been around way past, you know, the rise and fall of countries. You know, and actually, you know, if you look back in early 2008, Peter Schiff was talking about buy the euro, right? Remember that? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, actually, even if you bought silver back then, pff, you wouldn't be in battle off as buying the euro. But, you know, the one problem is, I think, I guess, with people into silver, it's like they think it's the only investment out there. You know, that's the other thing. I see it as the logic behind what Mark Farber, the reason he has precious metals, he sees a catastrophic collapse in the financial system. There is so much bullshit out there. There's so much that just exists in paper and fluff that eventually there's going to be major problems. It's top heavy with bullshit, people getting big bucks for doing nothing, and it's going to come down to, well, do you have the stuff or do you don't have the stuff? You know, they're going to want to see hard reality. That's why he's keeping physical gold. And for the common man, you can't be buying an ounce of gold here and there. It's too damn expensive. So you buy silver. Now, a price movements of silver are going to be far more erratic than gold. That's just the way it is. You know, you can't hang on. If you, if you don't realize that when you get into silver, you should never get into it. You know, that's another thing. But... Um, at one point in time, I think he's he's absolutely correct about that. The bullshit's going to catch up with the financial world. And right now, it does look like the United States is hanging tough, you know, hanging strong. But the elite's policy is not to build the middle class. It's to build the United States for themselves. They want a bunch of, uh, you know, people working for nothing, basically. That's what they're looking for. It's not, you know, it's not like they're trying to build the middle class. They're trying to build the United States for themselves. They do want the United States powerful. So I don't think the dollar is going to, there's no intention of like totally destroying the dollar. No intention of doing that. But I keep thinking about, you know, what Mark Farber does. And it's not just like he's a sales pitch. He actually puts his money out there. He does 25% of it. He doesn't do 100% of it, 80% of it or whatever, you know. And, you know, that's one thing I've been saying all along. But uh, 
what actually will probably drive the metals up, and maybe this is going to happen a lot sooner than you think, because there's more problems peating up in the Middle East. It's been a drama. There's been drama stories in the Middle East, and all kinds of things happening for years and years and years. I, Syria's got to be the last one to fall. If they start doing strikes on Syria, Iran is next. And when that happens, you know it's not going to take much to really upset the commodities markets. If oil goes way up through the roof, um, it'll actually kind of protect the dollar in a way, because I talked about this before, because people have to hold dollars overseas to um, you know, buy, purchase oil in, because it's largely traded in dollars. So if they attack some refineries and pipelines in Saudi or something like that or whatever, um, you know, due to like Iran being attacked, and you say there's elements in Saudi that attack their own infrastructure, now that that's happening, because the Shiite Sunni Muslim divide is still there, you know, um, and they know, you know, they know that the Saudi regime is puppets of the West. They'll attack them, and it's not going to take much to drive oil way over $150 a barrel. In effect, though, that'll help protect uh, the dollar, but it's going to drive up gold, and if it drives up gold and oil, it's going to start driving up silver. That ratio is going to get down there. I expect. You know, it's not unreasonable to expect gold to go way past 2000 not in the next week, you know, but I mean, not talking 10 years from now, I'm talking probably this next cycle up. It you look like if there's been a high in 20, 2008, there's been one in 2011, 2014, I expect a high in 2017, possibly the final blow off top. But 2014, it's not unreasonable to expect gold at, say, 2200 to 2500 and silver at 75 bucks. But that won't be the final price. It'll be a lot higher. That final blow off top. It's going to look like Bitcoins did several months ago when it was going vertical. And then it's going to crash. But all the silver bloggers will tell you it's not going to crash. It's going to be very tough to judge where that top is going to be. But I always say just selling pieces. That's really what it is. And you got to realize what your next move is. So uh, Middle East events definitely coming up, I think. I think they will be. So uh, I'll keep updated on this stuff. But uh, just hang in there tough because don't let them shake the Luke's to get the slam down that happened in April it was the biggest slam down I ever had in gold in its 5,000 year history. That's no bullshit. It was electronic. It was not traders doing that shit. Could you imagine like people selling Apple stock left and right and dumping it, you know, and iPods and iPhones are being sold like crazy in the market. That's only, like, it's not, but I'm trying to give a decent correlation. Could you imagine any company that has an extremely hot business and it's selling its physical products left and right. And guess what? You're, you're, the stock's dropping like a stone. That's an attack. That's an attack. That's the electronic price of silver and gold. It was a really attack. It's not bullshit. That's not bullshit. So, but how would you, I know that's going to come about. You know, I almost had a little bit of a sense of it when Goldman was saying that. And I also had a little bit of a sense of it when Bernanke was talking. But this guy throws you so many curveballs, it's like, I don't like guessing the game. I don't like guessing it. You know, so I know that the long-term trend is going to definitely with the B with the metals. And uh, I may sell some of them too early. But like I said, my strategy is to go in steps. And uh, that might be the best strategy for anybody.